All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this X-Men from Hasbro, and it is Cyclops. It's their VHS series, uh, 90s classic, I think. That's what they call it. Uh, it's based on the animation. Uh, so that's why they did a some sort of a um, VHS-style type of box here. And here's the side of the box there. Pretty cool. And then here's the back of the box. So let's get into it. Alright, and here we have Cyclops outside the packaging, and as for accessories, they are very, very minimal. Only three extra hands, and that's it. So, kind of skimming the accessories and um, charging more. And uh, yeah, it is a very nice looking uh, Cyclops, though, I have to admit. Uh, it's got a little bit of cell shading type of style to it. I uh, just added a little bit of a, a deeper yellow throughout, and then a deeper blue on some parts of his body and then very noticeable parts would be the boots where you can see that mustard yellow color added in the wrist right there and then the uh, visor side of the visor here it's got that color and then the rest is uh, yeah you can see a little bit of uh, darker blue throughout pepper throughout the figure just to create that shading look yeah so but uh, as far as the figure itself it's a fantastic fantastic figure I have to say it's got the butterfly joints uh, it's got the better ab abdominal section where the um, the harness doesn't get in the way and it's pinless and then uh, the most improvement I like uh, are these uh, are these pieces uh, they're no longer a um, separate piece that's uh, looped over the thigh section but instead they are sculpted into well they're they're part of the thigh section and then uh, same with that uh, the boots the top of the boot section uh, before they added a piece that uh, that wraps around the um the, the, the boots uh, the the lower legs but the now is sculpted in so that's good now as far as articulation for this figure, zoom out a little bit, the uh, head is on a ball joint and the neck, you can see there's a hinge joint, they went back to this joint, uh, so yeah, it can give him a way more range, you can look straight up, look at that, uh, it's a shame he doesn't come with a second head, with no uh, screaming head, uh, that would be nice if he like shooting optic blast, because usually his mouth is like wide open. But this one does not it's just one head sculpt that's it and then I like the butterfly joint it's uh, it's very minimal but it is much stronger um, how they attach it I'm not quite sure because I know uh, with some figures they only attach it at one point on the bottom and then the top will just fly out because yeah it's just putting too much stress on the bottom section of this butterfly joint but uh, I think they did it another way where it clicks now, where there seems to be a, um, a yeah, not on this side though, but this side does click, so it feels very solid uh, to me. So I wonder if they uh, change the um, the way they create, uh, the way they um, attach this uh, butterfly joint now. So shoulders, arms can swing out, same thing bicep does as well and uh, there's no more pins right here so that's nice double joint and then the hinge goes in and out for all the hands and then abdominal section you can see this is a separate piece from the abdominal section so he could you can now do a ab crunch really nicely without uh, worrying about this uh, harness where it flies out but uh, yeah he cannot do an arch though. There's no not much room for an arch, but uh, he can do a crunch quite nicely. So right there. Sorry about that. And then as for the legs, well, waist. Oh, waist does have a swivel joint right there. That's right underneath the belt. That's nice. Hidden quite well actually. Then the legs does go up. There is no. Uh, there's no lowering legs or anything like that with this one. I don't I actually prefer it this way. Uh, thigh rotation right there. Double jointed knees. Oh, the second part I just can't get it. 
it's just so tight I'll have to use a hairdryer to soften it up but uh, here there's a boot cut right there and then there's a hinge showing on the ankle it does pivot left and right the foot does pivot left and right for stability so yeah that is it and uh yeah again this figure feels very very solid all right here i guess cyclops doing an optic blast pose right there uh, again would have been nice if he has an open mouth angry open mouth head that goes with the optic optic blast pose that would have been cool but yeah there he is really nice uh, yeah, I do like this a lot. This is the only one of these uh, VHS style classic 90s, uh, 90s classic uh, X-Men I purchased because uh, I think this is the only one with the brand new body. Uh, I think the rest of them are just reissues with different paint job. So I'm skipping all of them. Uh, I was thinking of maybe a Storm because that one looks way more accurate. Um, as far as Jean, I don't think so. I think she's just average. Average. And uh, Jubilee, nah. Already got a good enough uh, Jubilee. And then uh, Sinister, no. And uh, who else? Uh, Morph? Morph? I, I haven't decided on whether I'll get Morph or not. And Wolverine, I don't know. But for now, I'm happy with Cyclops. And maybe I'll get Storm. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, it looks fantastic, totally worth getting, and uh, if you're on the fence, I say don't hesitate, just get it, it's, 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 it's the best uh, Cyclops you're going to get, uh, based on the cartoon. So there you go, there's Cyclops from the 90s classic line by Hasbro, thanks for watching.